I want to take this chance to introduce Abigail. She's going to talk to you a little bit about YSF, and um, this is when we're going to go back. Oh, okay. This is Abigail. She's from Tennessee, and she's going to talk to you about Youth Service Fund. So give it up. Abigail Overstreet, and I will be a high school sophomore, and I attend Franklin First United Methodist Church in the Tennessee Conference. And I want to share with you about YSF. The Youth Service Fund is an amazing ministry that is with, by, and for youth. Here's how it works. Youth raise money to donate to YSF. Then youth choose projects to receive funding from YSF. These projects are created and led by youth for the benefit of other youth, so it's really all about youth. For nearly 50 years, YSF has supported projects from around the world, and since it began, millions of dollars have been given generously to empower youth serving their peers. When you give to YSF, you become a part of a huge ministry that reaches to youth all around the world. Your gift, no matter how small, transforms into action. Tonight, we are going to have an offering for the Youth Service Fund. The ushers will begin passing around the buckets now. Remember, no gift is too small. We will have a huge group of people here, and even if you only have some change in your pocket, it can transform into changing someone's life. We will pass the buckets around, but if you'd rather donate online, you can do so at the www.youthservicefund.org. And if you don't have any money to give, please visit the YSF display in the Crystal Ballroom H with the Youth 15 store and find out how you can give your time and energy to this awesome ministry. Because of the Youth Service Fund, right now, the young leaders in the Liberia Annual Conference in West Africa are training nearly 5,000 young adults across their 20 districts through a project called Reawakening the Leader Within, and they are halfway through their goal. This project enhances the participants' understanding of the United Methodist Church and aims to strengthen their faith to enable them to share the good news of Jesus Christ to others. The amazing thing about this project is that it is, that it is not a one-time training event. Those who are trained go back to their communities and become active leaders in their church by spreading what they have learned and the momentum continues to grow. Alfred Mensah, the youth president of the conference, says this about the project. This project has given us a whole new light about the church and its connection to the larger society. Because of the Youth Service Fund, middle school students who are just hanging around outside their school across from Northwest Hills UMC are now being welcomed to a safe space every Wednesday that provides tutoring, caring relationships, and all kinds of activities, including Bible study, followed by a time of discussion. This ministry has grown to include 35 to 55 students attending each week, and the youth group from the church is closely involved with the after-school program as well. Here's what a senior high student, Maggie, said about helping lead this ministry. The after-school program opened my eyes to the difference my help can make as well as the difference these kids have made in my life. I feel very rewarded from spending my time there, and I hope the students got something from my participation as well. Because of the Youth Service Fund, the Evangelical Methodist Church in Portugal is engaging young people in new ways to rejuvenate their faith lives. By developing fun and social activities, youth are finding a comfortable space to encourage one another to learn about Jesus and commit to helping others in their community. One of the leaders, Joanna Texeria, says this about the project. We are working with some young people who were removed from the church spiritually. With our activities and involvement of these young people, they began to feel the presence of God in their lives and are currently on a quest to grow in their faith. YSF has played an important role in all of these ministries, and without the generosity of the United Methodist Youth, I wouldn't be able to share this good news with you today. And these are just three examples of projects being supported, and there are many, many more grants given each year. Maybe some of you here have received grants from YSF in the past, and it helped turn your ministry idea into a reality. 
In the Tennessee Conference, over the past three years, young people have raised nearly $40,000 for the Youth Service Fund. Prior to 2012, we were only raising $2,000 a year, but it was the challenge made by our Bishop Bill McAlilly that last year that pushed us beyond more than we could have ever imagined. After seeing our Young People's Ministry Director, Brad Fiscus, get his hair shaved off at a summer event, Bishop McAlilly agreed to shave his head if we could raise $20,000. And to our surprise, the young people of the Tennessee Conference rallied together and we were able to raise $22,000 in the 2013-2014 school year. And therefore, our bishop's head was shaved during our conference-wide Warmth and Winter event. The young people of the Tennessee Conference, along with Bishop McAlilly, now challenge all of you, your bishops to find creative ways to fund, to raise funds for YSF. We have supported ministries both within and outside of the annual conference, and we have grants, we have given grants to over 40 youth and young adult groups to serve in mission both domestically and internationally. The Youth Service Fund has enabled youth and young adults to, from all sizes of churches to have an opportunity and mission with people throughout the world. That is what YSF is all about. When you give to YSF, we are empowering youth all around the world to serve one another in new ways and not letting money get in the way of being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Thank you.